Hi, I'm Nico. You must be the liberated woman. We met on crap list. Oh, shit! You're actually who you said you were. I was expecting a two-foot lesbian. I'm Alex. Well, this car is all right. I think we bought my maid one. It gets where it's meant to go. So you didn't dress up for the first date. Why would you? I only really dress up when I have to. So, Nico, do you want to tell me about yourself? <laughs> I cannot believe we're going on a date and we don't even know each other. It's not like I haven't been on a date like this before. I mean, I've picked up guys on crap list and on dating sites, but the situation is weird. <laughs> I mean, this is the 21st century. It's so now what we're doing. City life is weird, you know? Well, tell me about yourself. I don't know. I'm not from here. I'm trying to get through life in a strange country, but it isn't easy. Some people make it difficult, yes? What do you want me to know about you? Everything. No, nothing. <laughs> Well, that's what dating is, isn't it? Giving bits of information, teasing people, letting them see pieces of your life, but not the whole picture. Well, that's actually a quote that I've already used on my blog. What piece of my life do I want to show you first? Oh, I write a thread called Liberated Woman on Blogsnob.org. I'm from Middle Park West. I've never thought about leaving Liberty City. It's good that you're happy in your home. My home was not so comfortable. The thing about me is, I'm interesting. I and mean, people feel like they can talk to me and open up. I really understand people, so they're drawn to me. <laughs> I mean, that's what people who talk to me and read my blog feel. They get this connection. It's like they feel this glow off me and my life, and they want to be near me. I mean, do you feel that? Sure. Yeah. A friend dated the head chef here. He was really fussy. to be impossible to get a table there, and you can see why. You found me a good time, Nico. Yeah. Let me take your number, and we can go on another date sometime. Alex, you want to go on a date? Okay, Nico. We can go on a date. Come pick me up in the next hour. I'll be by in a bit. Let's go, my mysterious European. Thank God you got rid of that thing you were driving before. I mean, anything would be better than that. I guess you're having your other clothes washed. I mean, there can't be any other reason to be wearing these. We're going to the opening party of this place. It was wild. to be impossible to get a table there, and you can see why. I'm always fun. I am a fun person. <laughs> Great. But I am not an airhead. I mean, I could be. I'm fun enough. <laughs> but I'm also really intelligent. Good. Everyone tells me how creative I am, especially men. Women are often jealous. You know how girls can be. Sure. I'm going to be famous, but not just for no reason. Seriously, not like one of those idiot girls. I mean, I know them. They're all jealous of me because I'm an individual. That's certainly true. Thanks. Yep, I'm an intellectual. I mean, I haven't gotten going yet, but I am. How do you know? Because I have these thoughts. Yep, and I know they're important. Really amazing thoughts about people and the world and stuff. Oh, damn, I'm loving you. I think we both want me to come inside. Um, I don't feel like I can get physical with you right now. Can we at least have some fun out here? Get over here. How's it going, Alex? Why don't you and me go do something? Okay, Nico. We can go.
go on a date. Come pick me up in the next hour. All right, I'll be there soon. Let's go, my mysterious European. Well, at least this car is better than your old one. Your chest looks really cut in what you're wearing. Your ass is giving mine a run for its money in those pants. I like those shoes, very smart. I remember going to the opening party of this place, it was wild. Sometimes hard to come by. You cannot leave your apartment in this city without spending money, so I guess you need to work. Tell me about it. I walk down the street. Next thing I know, I've seen three pairs of shoes that I have to have, and it's time to call Daddy and get the limit on my credit card extended. <laughs> Not really what I meant. So, you got a fancy college degree that gets you nervous? I went to college. I was going to be a psych major, but I found it too easy. I mean, you know, I really understand people already. I know what they want and what they're feeling. How is some professor going to be able to give me a grade on what I already know? So you left college? Yeah. <laughs> and I couldn't stand to be away from Liberty either. College parties are just for losers who don't get let into Mason at nine. I don't think I'd get let into a college party or Mason at nine. I'd feel guilty if I didn't escort you all the way into your place. Come inside, then. Let's go. I'm in the right mood. Oh, I love being naughty. Do your worst to me, Nico. You've caught me in the right mood. Oh, I love being naughty. Did she learn to do that stuff? How's it going? You want to go on a date? Sure. I'll let you take me out. Come pick me up in the next hour. All right. I'll be there soon. These bikes really take me back. Well, let's get going, Nico. Yeah, don't worry, Nico. I mean, we all make fashion mistakes. Chef here. He was really fussy. It used to be impossible to get a table there, and you can see why. Have you been reading my blog? It was really funny this week. Yes. Uh... It was hysterical. <laughs> I know, but it was also true. And that's what this guy told me that I was dating last night. He told me what was so amazing about my writing was that it was funny and tender and heartbreakingly original all at the same time. Clever guy. Yeah, he's amazing. But don't worry, not all the guys I date have to be intellectuals. Gee, thanks. I like variety. Anyway, did I tell you? I'm making a movie. No, well done. What's it about? <laughs> I don't know. I haven't written it yet. But this other guy I was dating told me that he'd invest and that I should and that I have a lot of talent and I think he's right. I'm sure he is. Yes. I always knew I'd be a filmmaker. I have a very strong visual sense. Yes. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be the great American novel, 
Only a movie. Sounds easy. Fuck easy. I'm an artist. I think we both want me to come inside. Well, don't just stand there, stupid. You won't regret this. Worse to me, Nico. You've caught me in the right mood. Oh, I love being naughty. Do your worst to me, Nico. You've caught me in the right mood. Did she learn to do that stuff? City in the 21st century really eats this type of food? Yuck! As I said, that was repulsive. I am never, I mean never, going there again. So, this blog you write, is that all you want to do? God, I've never thought of it that way. I've never thought that writing my blog was doing something. It's just an extension of my personality. I'm creative. Yeah? I've always kept diaries and, you know, thought really deep thoughts. I don't go in for all the bullshit, the trivial stuff. One day the blog just happened. I was going through the stuff on www.blogsnob.org and I realized that I had to get Alex Chilton out there. I had to expose my deepest thoughts to the public. And that's when I created the Liberated Woman blog. It's as much a part of me as, um, an arm or a leg. Or a mouth, telling everyone who cares to listen about your life. That is so right. People need to hear about me. I really touch people. I'm writing a novel, which is going to be so much deeper than the stuff on the blog. It's about me. It started out as a blog, but it's evolved into so much more than that. I mean, sometimes I think bits of it they are so beautiful and sad, and you know, they make me cry. You think people are going to read this? People really relate to me. <laughs> they can take a bit of my life and see it as their own. And that's because my life has so much in it, and it's so much richer and deeper than everyone else's. I mean, they relate to me because I'm better than them. I was trying to figure out why it was that I related to you so easily. That must be it. Let me into your place. I don't bite. I'd like that, Nico. Okay, then. Come on. Dr. Is going to be in the right mood. Oh, I love being naughty. Do your worst to me, Nico. You've caught me in the right mood. Oh, I love being naughty. I haven't seen before. Alex, that you? It'd be good to do something with you. <laughs> I'll go on a date with you, Nico. Pick me up in the next hour. All right, I'll be there soon. Kiki, it's crazy, but these cops just started to harass me. Can you see what you can do? You poor baby. Let me give the judge a call and see if we can sort this out. See you soon. Suspect last name is a uh, black penis limo. Hey, Nico. Let's go. Oh, it is so nice to be taken in a car that isn't a death trap. Thanks for trading up, Nico. Your chest looks really cut in what you're wearing. I like those shoes, very smart. 
By the way, how is the movie coming along? Oh, it fell through. But to be honest, cinema is dead. I mean, it's so old-fashioned these days with all the internet and videos and stuff and my blog and the sites like electrictit.com and stuff. Who wants a movie? Did the funding fall through? Well, that's not the point. I mean, yep, narrative is dead. It's done. It's all about living. Oh, what would you know about this stuff? Not much. I mean, you're living it, Nico. You're an experience. You're not an intellectual. I mean, you don't care. You live. You don't think. And that's beautiful. I never think. I know, your power, your masculinity, your freedom. In some ways, you're my muse. Thanks. But mostly I'm my own muse. <laughs> I'm gonna be an important person. I think I'll change the world. Like Stalin? Yeah, I mean, something like that. This place really reminds me of being underage. wasn't it? At least I got buzzed enough to cope. Hurry up! Ah! Man, I'm drunk! <laughs> cool. Oh, why? Because you think now I'll fuck you? <laughs> you're ridiculous. Oh, you're a man. What did I expect? If I wanted conversation, I would have gone online. Look at you, you're inane. Ah, uh, fucking ah, uh, inane. That's a new word. I learned another new word, preposterous, and that's what you are. I'm not. I'm great. Great, man. I'm spinning out. I shouldn't be drinking so much. At least these meds are working. Fuck, I'm drunk. Sit quietly, please. Fuck you. Whatever. Suspect northbound. I think we both want me to come inside. Come inside, then. We'll have fun. Me in the right mood. Oh, I love being naughty. Do your worst to me, Nico. You've caught me in the right mood. Oh, I love being naughty. Don't put that in her blog. Hey, Nico, I was just thinking, I like guys I date to look good in case the paths snap up together or something. If you ever want a discount from a clothes shop in Liberty City, call me and I'll arrange it. Thanks, Alex. That's kind of you. I cannot understand a word you are saying. Hey, Alex. I want to go buy some clothes. Will you get me a discount? Okay, I'll make some calls. I can get you a 50% off oh, at sweet. the major outlet delivery city for the rest of the day. Don't you try to tell you? Alex, hello. I'd like to see you. <laughs> I'll go on a date with you, Nico. Pick me up in the next hour. Wait there, Alex. Nico, let's go. Okay, well, you're moving up the ladder in terms of cars. You're moving slowly, but you're moving. Your chest looks really cut in what you're wearing. Oh, I like your pants, darling. Nice. Those shoes are nice. I might get some for Daddy. Nico, if you had to classify yourself, what would you be? I don't believe in classifying people. I think it's what we do that makes us who we are, moment to moment. Yeah, okay. But I'd say I'm a feminist. I think that every woman in this day and age should be. I mean, we don't need a man to help us get by in life. I do what I want, when I want, and that's that. I don't stop to think about what the consequences are. It's a good thing you don't want to go out and kill people all the time. There might be some serious consequences to that. Okay, well, that's sick. You don't get what I'm saying. I mean... I will go out and order the most expensive thing on the menu, and I'll buy everything myself at Anorex Spring Summer Collection. I mean, I'll do that myself, and I won't rely on men to get me what I need. Doesn't your father pick up your credit card tabs? Oh, he doesn't count. He's not a man. He's daddy. I'll have any man I want to. Young, old, American, European, like you. I mean, I pick you up, and I don't give a shit what my mother will say or what friends think. I won't let consequences hold me back from the moment. Anyway, the more stuff I do, the more I have to write about in my blog. And I'll put it in my novel, too. I gave my first blowjob in a restroom at this place. Shit, 
to think that I used to love that place? Well, I still get drunk there, though. Conversation I would have gone online. Loser. Look at you, you're inane. Ah, uh, fucking ah, uh, inane. That's a new word. I learned another new word, preposterous, and that's what you are. I'm not. I'm great. Great, man. I'm spinning out. I shouldn't be drinking so much. At least these meds are working. Fuck, I'm drunk. Sit quietly, please. Fuck you. Whatever. <laughs> How about you invite me in? Come inside, then. You won't regret this. in the right mood. Oh, I love being naughty. Do your worst to me, Nico. You've caught me in the right mood. Oh, I love being naughty. Did she learn to do that stuff? Shit. Not cool, sorry. Hi, Alex. It's Nico. It'd be good to do something with you. Sure. I'll let you take me out. Come pick me up in the next hour. I'm on my way. Mysterious European. Let's go. Well, Nico, if people are going to see you in the same set of clothes repeatedly, they may as well be fashionable ones. This isn't going to work out. Can we do something else? It used to be impossible to get a table there, and you can see why. What have you been up to? Well, I've been vlogging, and I've been doing a lot of Web 2.0 shit, and I've, uh, I've, well, all kinds of crazy things. Did you write a book? No. Nor did I. That was a joke. I wasn't planning to. Ha fucking ha. I've been really busy. Cool. Listen, my life is not empty, jackass. It's amazing. I have crazy adventures. The other day, I met this guy, and I slept with him, and I wrote about it on my blog. Isn't that what you do quite often? No. I'm liberated. I'm free. You can't control me, typical misogynist. Women can be artists, too. No doubt. Why are you so angry? I don't know, because I can't get my shit together. Oh, fuck, it is together. I'm, oh, it is together. Sorry. I'm sorry. Man. <sighs> we are going to have the best time. I'd feel guilty if I didn't escort you all the way into your place. I'd like that, Nico. Let's go. Love being naughty. You've caught me in the right mood. Do your worst to me, Nico. Oh, I love being naughty. You've caught me in the right mood. Did she learn to do that stuff? How's it going? You want to go on a date? Okay, Nico. We can go on a date. Come pick me up in the next hour. I'll be by in a bit. Hey, Nico. Let's go. Improvement on the last thing you were driving. Darling, with clothes, as with everything else, you buy cheap, you buy twice. I think you'll be trading in your top. Yeah, I'd be surprised if they let you into any clubs wearing those shoes. Oh God, I am so fucking angry. I hope it isn't something I've done. It's my fucking mother. It's all, Alex, do this. Alex, when are you gonna meet a nice man? Alex, why are all my friends reading about your sex life on the internet? Alex, did you really sleep with the gardener at our place upstate? Did you? Oh, you know what the worst thing is? What makes me hate her the most? It's that I feel like I owe her something for bringing me into the world, for paying my rent every month. I feel like I have to meet her for lunch twice a week. Like, it's an obligation. Oh, she's dependent on me, but I'm the child. I mean, she's the adult. I think you're old enough to be classified as an adult now. Yeah, well, 
I'm happy she's dying. That cancer spreading into her abdomen was the best thing that ever happened to me. I hate her. I hope you don't really mean that. Don't worry, we'll get him. Uh, what the fuck is this? I guess I'm about to find out. There you are. I feel like I totally understand a new culture. Alex, that you? Why don't you and me go do something? Sure. I'll let you take me out. Come pick me up in the next hour. Sure. Wait for me. Hey, mysterious European. Let's go. It is so nice to be taken in a car that isn't a death trap. Thanks for trading up, Nico. Darling, with clothes, as with everything else, you buy cheap, you buy twice. I think you'll be trading in your top. Nico, you have got to learn. You get what you pay for, and you didn't pay much for those pants. God, are those shoes fashionable back in Europe? You must be so behind the Liberty City trends. What's up, Alex? Too many things to mention. It's been crazy. Wild and liberated the whole nine. What about you? Me? Yeah, you. I don't know much about you. You're a man of mystery. Where are you from? Spain, isn't it? Oh, where's that the other guy? That was me. I knew it. What else? Tell me stuff from my vlog. Well, you want to know? Yes. Okay. I'm a hitman who works for organized crime syndicates. My life ended many years ago when I saw my childhood friends butchered on a hillside. I'm a one-man crime wave who was killed indiscriminately since I turned up here. But inside, I just want to be loved. Loved or killed, I guess. I don't know which. Ha fucking ha. What do you really do? I work in... construction. I knew it! You are so lucky to have me. I imagine I bring adventure to your life. Sure. Well, you've got to be hungry to eat in a place like this. It hasn't even got a Liberty Tree rosette. Unmemorable, bad service. I give that place three out of ten. I I'll call you. I promise. See ya. Alex, that you? You want to go on a date? <laughs> I'll go on a date with you, Nico. Pick me up in the next hour. Wait there, Alex. Nico, let's go. Nico, do you mind if we do something else? I haven't got all day. What the fuck is wrong with you? My car. It used to be impossible to get a table there, and you can see why. So, Alex, how's it going? Fine, Nico. Just fucking fine. Okay. Maybe this date is not such a good idea. If you are in this type of mood. I'm sorry. It's just my doctor put me on some new meds and I haven't quite leveled out yet. Yeah, I can see. I'm a bit nervous because I can't really tell what the new pills are going to do to you. I don't know if they're the reason that I'm on edge or if it's from worrying about what the pills might do to me. Or I might be angry because I had to go with my mother while she got chemo. The fucking driver was there. Why did I have to be there too? No, I think it's didn't the doctor tell you what the side effects of the meds were going to be? Oh, <laughs> my doctor has all my best interests at heart. He's a real sweetie. He's in love with me, you know. <laughs> I've been seeing him for forever. I lost my virginity to him. That shows you how long I've been pouring my heart out on the couch. <laughs> Isn't that the breach of the doctor-patient relationship thing? Nico, 
<laughs> you are so not from around here. The only reason guys become psychiatrists is to get with young anorexic pill poppers. And the only reason girls become anorexic and start popping pills is to get with older guys. It's a match made in heaven. In that case, I think I'll go to hell. <laughs> you are so funny. Ha fucking ha. You're not being a fucking smartass, are you? How about I come into your place? Well, don't just stand there, stupid. You won't regret this. Love being naughty. You've caught me in the right mood. Do your worst to me, Nico. Oh, I love being naughty. You've caught me in the right mood. If that gets online. Alex, it's Nico. Why don't you and me go do something? Sure. I'll let you take me out. Come pick me up in the next hour. I'm on my way. Let's go, my mysterious European. This guy is, like, seriously urban. I'm told he's, like, very now. Nah, my wife's back in San. True. I mean, don't you think? Well, what's wrong? You seem sad. Nothing. I mean, ha oh, fucking ha, oh, little rich girl, all the cooks can't write a book. I thought you were liberated. I didn't think you got sad. <laughs> oh, well, I do. And I'll tell you what, rich people have feelings too. Sure, but you seem strong. I act all tough, but inside I'm just a little girl. I used to be anorexic. I'm sorry to hear that. I still hate life. Oh, I'm a failure. I should have done more. You do well. I should have done less. I'm pathetic. Look at me. I think you're okay. I think you're just being a human being. That's what my cousin told me when I was like you. Thanks, but I really don't think you can understand how I feel. Okay. Have it your way. I'm sorry. I'm just... I'm just special. Very special. I'd feel guilty if I didn't escort you all the way into your place. Well, don't just stand there, stupid. Okay, then. I'm me in the right mood. Do your worst to me, Nico. Oh, I love being naughty. You've caught me in the right mood. Do your worst to me. If that gets online. Hello, Alex. You want to go on a date? <laughs> I'll go on a date with you, Nico. Pick me up in the next hour. Wait there, Alex. He can Hello. Me on the Hello. Phone. Hello. Hey, Nico. Let's go. Let's eat here. It's not exactly going to be a gastronomic roller coaster, though, is it? tasted of nothing. Did you notice that? Uh. Oh, I've had the worst day. It's like everyone has been talking at me and no one has been listening to what I have to say. I mean, okay, like they've taken the cab to where I told them to take it or they've gotten me the right size of shoe, but no one has really listened. It must be very difficult for you. I am sure you have been saying a lot. <laughs> exactly! God, I feel like sometimes you're the only one who really listens. I mean, you really care. I think in some weird way, we could be soulmates, you know? It's like a 21st century, uptown boy, downtown girl story. It's Cinderella, but with a gender reversal and the internet playing fairy godmother. I don't see it like that. This story is marketable. Could be the art my novel needs. It might give everything structure. Do you want to get married? I hadn't really thought about settling down. I bet you do. Every guy from your background must dream about marrying into money. Think about it. Money and a green card, you'd be the envy of every border jumper in the nation. Dishwashers, gardeners, and valet would put posters of you on their walls. They'd say, Nico Bellic, the American dream. I think this would be a dream I would sooner wake up from. What you doing? How 
How about I come into your place? Come inside, then. You won't regret this. Yeah, Dad's gonna buy the whole thing for me. Cool, huh? Worst to me, Nico. You've caught me in the right mood. Oh, I love being naughty. Do your worst to me, Nico. You've caught me in the right mood. Don't put that in her blog. How's it going, Alex? Why don't you and me go do something? Sure. I'll let you take me out. Come pick me up in the next hour. All right. I'll be there soon. Let's go, my mysterious European. Well, you've got to be hungry to eat in a place like this. It hasn't even got a Liberty Tree rosette. of nothing. Did you notice that? Uh. How are you? Shit! I'm on meds and they are not working well at all. No? No. I still know my own name. I want to forget. You're a very up and down girl. Yeah, I guess. I guess. I guess it just hurts knowing as much as I do. I would love your problems. Knowing that I can do whatever I want and it means nothing. I mean, nothing matters. Do you know how that feels? Absolutely. No, you don't. Not in the way I mean. I mean. You couldn't possibly know how much I suffer. I guess not. You'd better show me a good time tonight. No pressure, then. You want me to come in? I'd like that, Nico. We'll have fun. Worst to me, Nico. You've caught me in the right mood. Oh, I love being naughty. Do your worst to me, Nico. You've caught me in the right mood. Don't put that in her blog. Alex, it's Nico. What are you doing? Oh, oh fucking ha. I'm asleep. Call me after noon. I didn't know you'd be in bed. I'm sorry. Alex, that you? I'd like to see you. I'm scared that if we see each other this much, someone's going to get hurt. In a while, maybe. Another time, Alex. We will put on the rain check. Hello, Alex. You want to go on a date? Sorry, Nico, but my friends just saw us out again, and they might actually think we were serious. Leave it a bit. We'll do something another time, then. I'll call again later. Alex, that you? Are you fucking stupid? I'm sleeping. Call me back after noon. I might be awake then. I didn't know you'd be in bed. I'm sorry. Okay? Alex, you probably got more important things to worry about, like boots or something, but we're over. My therapist was right. She was totally right about you. How's it going, Alex? Why don't you and me go do something? Nico, I don't want this to get too serious. Maybe we shouldn't see each other this often. Maybe in a while. Okay, Alex. I'll try you again later. Why don't you show me a good time? I can't take you out just now, Alex. I'll call you later. Okay, Nico. If that's the way it is, that's the way it is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> walk around. Alex, it's Nico. Why don't you and me go do something? Nico, I cannot get tied down right now. We should leave a bit of a gap between each date. All right, then. I'll call another time. Uh-huh. I'm beginning to think the girls don't like money and coke anymore. Cool. This is Good news, Alex. You don't have to worry about slumming it no more. We're done. This is a fucking joke. You never want to go out with me. Come on, 
I'm only dating Americans. Hi, I'm Nico. You must be the liberated woman. We met on crap list. Oh, shit. me a good time, Nico. Yeah. Let me take your number, and we can go on another date sometime. How's it going, Alex? You want to go on a date? <laughs> I'll go on a date with you, Nico. Pick me up in the next hour. Sure. Wait for me. <laughs> Alex, I'm sorry about this, but I can't take you out anymore. That's fine, Nico. I'll just meet up with the girls. Alex, it's Nico. I'd like to see you. Okay, Nico. We can go on a date. Come pick me up in the next hour. Wait there, Alex. This is Alex Chilton's phone. Leave me a message. That's it. I'm going to make my own way home.